if you're wondering who's behind the camera, there's nobody behind the camera. It's just me, the camera, and the tripod. And this is what I call motion tracking or should I say face tracking because I'm tracking my face. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm able to achieve this or how I do this. Take note that this is my way of doing this. There might be some other um, options out there or way on how to do this. I may be able to do that on a separate video, but in this video specifically, I am going to teach you how I do mine in my own way and what I use for filming, what I use for the editing, and what is the software. So yeah, this is your boy Manolet Yet, and without further ado, let's get right into it. This is the camera that I'm using. This is the Sony A7S3. And together with this lens, this is the 16 to 35 f 2.8 G Master lens. But for my TikTok or my Instagram reels, I am specifically using the Sony 85 millimeter f 1.4 lens. That lens is so good. And that's why if you can see the background blur behind me, it's crazy. It's because of that lens. For the tripod, I'm using this Ulanzi and common um, carbon fiber tripod right here and yeah that's basically my setup right so the first thing that you want to do whatever you want to do is make sure that you're shooting yourself a little bit wider than usual in order for you to achieve the movement you would have to crop into the image and if you can see this room this is what the result that I wanted and all of this other room right here will be the room for the software to be able to like move around because if you shoot like this close then you would have to crop in and it will make just make your face like this into the frame right <laughs> and you don't want that you want the audience to see whatever you're doing like moving around right dancing and yeah so so make sure you're shooting in 4k 60 frames per second the higher the frame rate the better but for now we're just gonna talk about that and i'm not gonna feed you too much information because it can be confusing especially the camera settings but for now let's just get right into the editing software that i'm using which is final cut pro and the effect called the pixel film studios stabilizer yeah that's what it's called the plugin is not free it is a paid plugin and it costs around 39 us dollars or let me check it again and put it in to here like the screen yeah that's how much it costs but as you can see what i'm able to achieve with that it's worth it at least for me i'm personally using it now there's free option on this editing software but I still prefer using the paid one because I just I I I think it's easier. So yeah, let's get into the editing. Okay, so this is where I bought the plugin. I'm gonna put the link in the description down below, and then right here you can find the Final Cut Pro products, and you're gonna click on the effects, and then after that you're gonna wait for it to load, and then you're gonna scroll down until you can find this um, thing right here called FCPX Stabilizer. You're gonna wanna purchase that and then install to your computer. Now take note that I'm not sponsored by them. I bought this with my own money, so yeah. Installation of this plugin is fairly simple. You just follow the steps provided when you buy the plugin. It's just a um, step-by-step guide. Now I have mine installed, so I'm gonna go and open up the Final Cut Pro editing software for a macbook user or mac users and right here and right here i'm gonna make a new library so this is where we're gonna store all of our projects i'm gonna name this tutorial for this video and then i'm gonna go back and create a new project now this is very important because this is gonna be the outcome or the export file it is gonna be the final format of our video so here you can see the aspect ratio. I'm going to choose vertical because this is going to be for TikTok or Reels and highest quality possible. And then for the frame rate, I'm going to be staying at 30 frames per second. And yeah, I'm going to click OK and then it will create a new timeline. As you can see, then I'm going to drag this video of me dancing and 
Yep, right there. And then we're gonna go here, right here. This is where we can find the effect. I'm gonna click that. So you can see we have four options. But I'm gonna choose the second one because it's the 4K version. As you can see, FCPX Stabilizer 2.0 4K. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this on top of the clip and then drag this to length. And then I'm gonna highlight the effect and then go to this tab right here is the effect and then we're gonna turn on the stabilization then here you can find the position the rotation and the scale data we're gonna only turn on the position which is up and down and left and right and then i'm gonna click this track editor and then a new window will pop up i'm gonna wait for it to load now this is where the magic happens as you can see this red box right here this is gonna be the tracker and this hand right here on the bottom left corner, this is gonna be the tool to move the clip around. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and find something to track. It's either my face or my arms, or I can choose my buttons. And I can zoom it in and out and choose this arm armband right there or that button but yeah i'm gonna press reset and then track my face right here can adjust a little bit then i'm gonna press this arrow right here to start tracking and yep it's already tracking as you can see it is that simple because before i have to do it manually which is really really hard and time consuming but now i just have to wait for it to finish tracking the whole clip or whole video and if it stops like that you can just press it again to continue tracking until it's done once it's done you're gonna press export data and then you're gonna confirm and then close the window now when i play this you can see the result see now it's moving right and this is why it's very important for us to shoot wide so that we have room to crop in because as you can see it is distorted and not level so i'm gonna scroll down here and look for the offset scale dragging this up will make your video zoomed in as you can see right here once you're happy with the scale you can just click this circle um, thing in the middle and then just move the footage around then when you play the video it should look like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the video again but with the effect on and off so that we can see the difference. Now that I'm done tracking, I'm gonna export this by clicking the share button, export file, and then I can name it whatever I want but I'm gonna stick to this tracking and then hit next and then save. And that's it! That's how I get my videos done. I hope I answered some of your questions and thank you for watching this video and staying with me. And I hope to share more with you guys. If you enjoyed watching this, please like this video and comment down below if you have any suggestions on what do you want to learn or what do you want to know next. So here you will see me doing the same um, effect on another video. But this time you're gonna see it real time without zooming in and out so that you can see it full size and clearly. Here you'll see me pointing out this um, gap right here. As you can see, the video is kind of doubled. 
this is why it's important for you to shoot wide because now we are gonna crop in to hide that video behind it there we go and there we go Then again, I'm gonna play it with and without the effect. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do about it? Got 